I also felt a little emotional. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I, lo <laughs> I love Blitz. True. Accurate. Literally. <laughs> hey, what's up, peeps? Welcome back for another video. Today, I have for you Hell of a Boss Season 1, Episode 2, Lulu Land. For this episode, I've heard a lot of things, uh, especially that this episode is supposed to um, explore Stolas' character, and I'm very excited about that because Stolas is a very interesting character, and we've only got little, like, I think two minute scenes with the other two episodes. So I'm honestly really glad to see that Stolas is kind of like in the spotlight during this episode. So I'm very, very excited to see that. So far, the show is absolutely hilarious. I love everything about the show so far. It's, I'd say it's way funnier than has been. I'm, I'm just being honest here. It's a lot funnier than has been. However, I do enjoy the quality of has been a lot more than this one. So I guess these two are kind of like on the same level of entertainment for me. Once again, I don't really want to waste a whole lot of time today, so let me end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you see, or just find yourself coming back in the regular, then please do like and subscribe, it would really help out a lot. And remember guys, if you want to see this full length reaction, as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server, and more, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with Hell of a Boss Season 1 Episode 2, Lulu Land. Mm, Vivia's calling us, Stella. Uh, here you get up. Vivia, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! Aww. I had a dream. A really bad dream. I was looking all over the palace, and I couldn't find you anywhere. You weren't there. There, there, Aww. Vivia. It's okay. You're okay. You must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. Aww. It always seems more quiet. Oh, you're singing. I mean, we kind of got a song in the last episode, but it seems like this is a more serious song. I'm really excited for this. It always seems more quiet in the dark. Ooh. How silence grows under the moon. Ooh. Now all my stories have been told except for one. As the stars start to align, oh! everything will be okay. And if the seven Dude, that was awesome. I also felt a little emotional. I don't know. Wow. I wasn't expecting that, but here we are. <laughs> Damn, that was really good. I wish we got a little, uh, a little bit of a longer version, I guess. I would definitely listen to the full version if we had one. Oh, that was the past. Got it. That was the past. This is the present. Got it. I didn't have time to go to a hotel. The world is burning down around me. Oh, poor kid. Of course not. You are a goddamn embarrassment. I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic imp-sucking face. 
Wow. Good morning, Octavia. Did you sleep well, my owlette? Is that a serious question? <laughs> is that a serious question? This song is called My World is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You Dad. <laughs> it's by Fuck You Dad. Are you two done screaming for the day? Um... Probably not. I haven't taken you to your- He squeaks! <laughs> he squeaks like Charlie squeaks! <laughs> you yeah, remember from the pilot of Hasman? When Charlie was bouncing up and down, talking to Vaggie, and she was squeaking? <laughs> he squeaks too! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's so cool. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. I'd rather go. <laughs> Might have to bleep that out. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People yeah. want our money and our bodies. Oh, money maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself, princess. Oh, please. You're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I, lo <laughs> I love Blitz. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Brandon as well. He's doing amazing with this shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. That dude... Brandon has nailed this fucking role, I swear. Three way. Ah! What? <laughs> what the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. Look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. <laughs> it's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Blitz. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Honey. Done! How many phones have you broken or lost, by the way? I just noticed that. Like, he has a different phone in every, every fucking five minutes. How many phones have you broken? <laughs> We're going to Lululand! Lululand? Lululand! Jesus Christ! Lululand! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Luna. Luna. Luna's so over it. Now remember, <clears throat> this is work and work only. Holy shit, the height difference between these two. <laughs> Holy fuck. Wow. Stolas is fucking tall. I never realized how short he was next to him. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Now remember, this is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you. Jesus Christ. I'm so cute when you are serious. <laughs> I haven't been to this place since I was a child. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh, look, it's big, lovely. <laughs> that is deeply upsetting. Yeah, that is. <gasps> look, here. It's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place <laughs> reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Via, I, uh, I'm already liking Via already. <laughs> this is another character that I heard of. Um, but I didn't uh, remember that when I was going off of the list of characters that I knew about because she isn't really mentioned that much compared to the other characters. And I can see why, because she's more of like a minor, I guess a minor supporting character or just a regular supporting character. She's not a major supporting character like Moxie or Millie. Um, so I haven't really heard much about her, but yes, I have heard people talk about this character sometimes yes uh another name that i've heard as well um some kind of villain character i don't really know his name but i know that norman reedus plays him 
I know that for a fact. I know that Norman Reedus is in one of these episodes. I don't know which one yet. I'll have to wait and see. Uh, I also know that uh, Kesha is also in this. I don't know what she's in either or what episode she's in. And then I know that the guy who plays Zestiel in Has Been Hotel is in this as well. He plays another character. I don't know who. And then Alex Brightman as well. I don't know what character he plays yet. I believe his character's name is Fizz, I think. Fizz something. I don't remember the full name, but I know I remember Fizz. That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. <laughs> What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not even surprised about that joke. Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lulu Land! Listen to your hoe, Mox. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Blitz is so unhinged, I love it. He's quick. Ooh, so that was a smart idea, bringing Blitz and everyone else along. You know, it's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. <laughs> you used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, no. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. go back, go back, go back, back. Fizzarali, that's the fucking name. Okay, so I got Fizz right. I just couldn't remember the rest of his fucking name because I remember that his name was so fucking long in this. So I know Fizz, but that's his full name, Fizzarali. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not- <laughs> What the fuck? Wait, was that Blitz and a clown off it? Hold on. I, I, can, I can hear the horn of the train. I'm not sure if that's picking up on the mic or not. Okay. He tossed the bag over his head. Hey, 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 please. It's me, the robotic Fizzarali. That is... That is Alex. Okay. <laughs> cool. Ever since his performance in Has Been Hotel is Adam and Sir Pentius, because he plays both those characters. Ever since his performance in that one, I, I've just been wanting to see him in this. So, it's really cool to see him now. And especially this early. I did not expect him to be in the show this early. Wait, hold on. Wasn't that Charlie's song in the pilot? Yeah, that that was Charlie's song. So literally, the, they literally taken so many things from Hasbun and put it in this show. I'm I'm actually I'm actually in love with that. I love that they've taken so many elements from that show and put it into this one. That's really cool. Mainly everything's just pulled from the pilot, which is understandable because it was like a what a five year, four year gap between the pilot and the show's release, and during that time the show came out. So I understand that everything comes from the pilot and not from the actual show itself. So I understand that completely, and I just love the involvement of it. Also, I know that Alex has a very distinct voice, but with all three of the characters that he plays in this universe, Fizz, Adam, and Serpentius, he sounds very much different between the three, yet you can still hear the gravel, the gravelness of his voice. Like the very Beetlejuice-esque voice. I just love how like distinct his voice can sound, also sounding so similar at the same time. <laughs> About a magical, fantastic place called Land. <laughs> <laughs> she hates everything. I want that thing. <sighs> Finally, some thing I can handle. Okay, one game, please. Strike one, little man. But I what? hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. Fucking rigged ass games. This is why I don't go to carnivals. <laughs> Not only because I hate a lot of the rides, because the rides, sometimes I get frightened of them, and I just want to leave after that. But also, the food's not that good. The games are rigged, and most importantly, 
clowns. I have a phobia of clowns. And so I really don't like going to theme parks or amusement parks or carnivals, fairs. I don't like them because chances are there's a clown there. And if I see one, I will be freaked the fuck out. <laughs> For some reason, like a lot of the characters that I've seen from like the Amazing Digital Circus and now this, like the clown designs aren't really bugging me as much. I mean, it's still creepy. It's still creepy to me, but it's not like it's not as bad. I guess it's just because they aren't really drawn that creepily or maybe they're just having a very unique look to them. That's not really signifying a clown, I guess. So I know that Fizz is a clown and so was Blitz clearly from that shot of him in the clown outfit, but like the designs aren't bugging me as much. I don't, I have no idea why, because that also happened in <clears throat> the amazing digital circus with, um, I don't know. I forgot her name, but it's the main character's name, but I, I, I don't know. Her design didn't really creep me out as much as a normal clown design would. Ah! What's wrong with this thing? Oh man, a real shame, I tell you. Ah. <laughs> I sing along with the loot. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, how delightful! <laughs> oh shit! My, what could? And everybody's got <laughs> Nice job. Oh, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> oh, is that lit? So my sensor spot up there. I guess the oh. kids are still running away from you, huh? Oh, so you two know each other. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester. Oh, so this isn't the real Fizz then. So he said robotic version of a jester. So this isn't the real Fizz or Raleigh. This is just a robotic copy. Also, I was meaning to ask, I've seen this character design before. I can't place my finger on it. Hold on, I gotta search it up now. Oh! The ro yeah! I'm looking at an image right now from, um, has been with Valentino's, uh, robot. Robotic Fizzarelli servant. That's where I've seen these from. Okay, that's where I recognize this design from. Got it, okay. So, yeah, literally everything in this show is like, ooh, that's that's strange how like a lot of from the has been pilot is now shown in this show. And now things in this show have been shown in has been. It's like going in a loop with. Wow. OK, <laughs> that's strange, but so cool. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? So. No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! Let me try. Oh, look at that. Lucky wow. shot, baby. Are you kidding me? You, you, you charlatan. Hey, uh, get lost, pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Oh, God. Blitz, can you kill this guy? Thank you. Make sure Stolas is okay. I've got some unfinished business to take care of. Oh, now it's really starting to creep me out now. Oh, what a mouth. <laughs> oh, God, no. Okay, now I'm getting creeped out. Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. Oh, that's better. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... Busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. True. Accurate. Literally. <laughs> oh. Octavia. I take it you are... not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. Are you gonna run off with him? And leave me behind? Oh. No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's Aww. time to leave this place. <laughs> Whoa! 
Oh. <laughs> so the, that guy got eaten. But also, like... He's that powerful. Why'd you have Blitz come then? If he's that powerful, why did he have Blitzo and the others bodyguard him? I guess that's just a, like a very tiny example of his power, I'm guessing. And also like, yeah, he's he's he is a good dad. He he really loves his daughter so much. Like you could just tell he loves her a lot. What would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Coles? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. That slutty toy clown had Millie. it coming. <laughs> Millie, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that was... That was... That was probably my favorite episode so far. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for Hell of a Boss Season 1, Episode 2, Lululand. Um, so I was right. This episode did dive into Stolas and, you know, his character. And not only that, but the relationship that he has with his family, you know, it, it, the relationship with his wife, very tense. And it really seems like he didn't really want to be in this marriage. It seems like he's kind of like lost the love for her or something. I don't really know what happened. So I don't know what's going on with the marriage, but it really does seem like he loves his daughter, like a lot. We really got to see him as a good father and a good parent with his daughter. And it seems like he genuinely like cares and maybe some, it seems like he also has some form of regret for what happened between him and his wife, or at least it seemed like it towards the end. Because this whole time, Stolas has been flirting and, you know, just having a, a weird relationship with Blitz. So, I don't know. I don't know what is going on with Stolas right now. But I kind of like that mystery aspect. You know, same with Alistair. You know, Alistair, you never know what's going on with this character. And that's something that I really loved about Al Alistair. And I think that's what's happening here with Stolas. And... If that's the case, I'm really excited for that. But we also got to see Via for the first time. Like I said, I have heard of so many characters and so many voice actors who are in this show. You know, like Norman Reedus is in this, Kesha is in this, and you know, Alex Brightman's in this, and a whole bunch of other names that I know. But I've heard more characters than voice actors, and Via is one of those that didn't really pop up as much, but I did hear about. Millie and Moxie were just kind of like, having fun around the, I guess, the, the establishment, I guess. It's just kind of like their own little storyline. They didn't really do anything too important during this episode, so I guess they were just kind of doing their own thing. We barely saw Luna. She only got, like, what, one fucking line during this, and it was to tell the others to shut the fuck up or something like that. She only had one fucking line during this episode. Once again, I want to see more Luna. I want to explore her character, because now she really is the character who has gotten the least amount of screen time and has had no development whatsoever. And then we met Fizzarali, who I have heard of because he, he's voice acted by um, Alex Brightman. And, you know, uh, later on during the episode, I found out that, you know, the robotic versions of him are also in has been hotel as the servants, especially the one that I remember was Valentino's during, I believe, um, Radio Killed the Video Star, I believe. And then we have Blitz at the end um who didn't really have too big of a stake you know he was just kind of supposed to bodyguard stolas which i didn't really understand at the end because you know stolas is very powerful and we did get to see a little snippet of his power so i don't know why he was acting so defenseless this whole time i guess he just wanted to be around blitz and spend time with him i guess but then again he was also there to spend time with via so i don't really understand uh, anything that's going on with Stolas. But yeah, Bliss was just kind of bodyguarding him and then he got distracted by Fizz and it seems like those two know each other. So I can't wait to explore that as well. There's so many things to go through, so many things to explore and I hope we can 
go through all the things that I want to explore. So, but that concludes this video. So if you guys like this video and like what you saw or just find yourself coming back in the regular, then please do like this video and subscribe. It would really help out a lot. And remember guys, if you want to see this full length reaction as well as early access to content, a private Patreon, Discord server, and more, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.